Okay, I have this really vivid Pokemon memory. Okay, this is weird, because when we were growing up, because we lived right down the street from each other. Okay. There was never any reason to, like, if we wanted to exchange information, we wouldn't do it face-to-face. Because, -face, like, we were, like, right down the street from each other. Okay. But, so, very rarely did we ever talk on the phone. Yeah. But there is one time where I remember very vividly we were calling each other, like, late at night. It was, like, even though we were little kids, it had to have been, like, 10, 11, 12 at night or Are something. Are we yeah, corded phones? Yeah. <laughs> and it was just, like, it was so weird. It was like we were, like, kids that were investigating a crime almost. Because it was like, dude, do this, do this, and then go do this. And what it was is the night that I think we both discovered what missing number was. Oh, Mithino? Yeah. Mithingo or some shit like that? Yeah. Yeah, like, we Actually, were... no, I learned my cousin, my cousin Louie had, had that, and he told me how to get it, mm -hmm. and, um, then I went home and I tried it, and then I called you, or one or the other. Yeah. Or I think you called, I know we found out about it on the same day. Uh-huh. And we are like, what the fuck? Yeah, I just remember, like, how weird that night was. That yeah. was crazy. That was, like... <laughs> and I don't want to spoil it. But that's like that Facebook post I made the other night. Like, this changes everything. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> oh, do you see my comment on that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was... Yeah, I didn't understand when I was a kid that it was a glitch. I just thought it was like, it's a secret Pokemon. Is Everyone it... kept thinking it was Kangaskhan the baby. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, now I know. I was like, you shouldn't do that. That might fuck up your game. Yeah, I know. But it, it, I, I wasn't. I didn't understand. Okay, that I time. think you could only talk to these one time. Mm, it's a. I have the walkthrough. Uh, I have my phone. Oh wait. Now. Yes. The okay. Dome. Yeah. The, yes. The dumb one. Sweet. Okay. Yeah. That's right. I was talking about the shiny Pokemon. So yeah, when I got back into. To the Game Boy Advance games, that's somehow I already knew by then, probably because I was like looking at the internet that I figured out what shiny Pokemon were. Okay. So, uh, yes. after all of this, to where you know I went through my entire <laughs> I was like on a sign humping, <laughs> yeah. it, humping the sign. Uh, you, you're gonna want to go up into the right. Or, yeah, this part's like really I'm looking for items. Yeah, uh, I think they're the two trainer guys over here that teach like dynamic punch or something. And you want to talk to those fuckers when I used to play this game? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you want to walk this route in a certain way. If you want to fight the one trainer that's over here. Because if you don't, then like you don't get another chance. Because you can't get back on this route. Unless you... Until like later in the game when you go back to Pewter City and go through Mount Moon. Oh, fuck. Okay, maybe... Oh, maybe it's not this game. Maybe it's Gen 2 that those guys are around. But anyway, so... Like... Yeah, this is the her? trainer. Yeah, if you want to fight her to, like, get the experience, you have to, like... Oh! Oh, or maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. No, you didn't do anything wrong. Oh, I guess not. I'm wrong. I guess you can Tripping, only... man. You can only get to her if you know Surf. That's so weird. Why the fuck would they put her over there? What's in here? No, uh, probably some bullshit. Well, I think, let's double check. Uh, one of the grass Pokemon are in here, I think. Which Mankey? One? <laughs> no, no. Whichever one is specific to red compared to blue. Like Oddish or Bellsprout. Oh, I fucking love Bellsprout, dude. Yeah. That uh, spirit was in Fuck. here. I want to say Nidoran might be in here. Is it male and female? I'm not sure. That'd be awesome. It gets really confusing because this route's been in like five different games. Four different games. Oh, yeah, and they this, change it up all the time. Well, okay, it's it, there's red and blue, and then yellow is kind of slightly different yeah, from route to yeah. route. Then there's the remakes, Fire Red and uh, Leaf Green. And then there's Gold and Silver and those Gold and Silver remakes. So yeah. It's, yeah, it's like it's like four different combinations. So that's how I always like fuck this shit up. I'm like, oh, I think this is on this route. It's like, oh, it is, but not on this game. Oh, Atkins. There's Atkins. Right here. Okay, so the first... I want to say the very first shiny Pokemon I ever caught wild in a wild encounter. The perfect irony of after years of the only shiny Pokemon I ever owned being Red Gyarados. Okay. A shiny Magikarp that turned into Red Gyarados. Really? <laughs> yeah. Safari oh, Zone fuck. and Fire Red. I, I just 
threw a rod into the water in the safari zone and out came a shiny magic carp that Fucking I caught nice. and evolved into red Gyarados. Yeah. Yeah, two red Gyarados. <laughs> yeah. After all those years of only having red Gyarados, my first wild Pokemon it's ends up becoming Gyarados. red Gyarados. <laughs> Fucking oh, bullshit. So, uh, so then I caught, I think, two. I got two in Gen 4. I can't remember. I don't know. One might have been in Diamond. One might have been in Platinum. They... Oh, hey. Remember the uh, the Pearl you gave me? Yeah. Actually, uh, one of my first Pokemon were uh, Starly. Shiny Starly. That was one of mine. Really? Like, I think in Platinum when I replayed it. Fucking yeah, sad, I was, man. yeah. I, I played Platinum for like a second time, and I was playing as the female character. Uh huh. And I, it was cool because I already had caught a Starly, and I was already raising it, and then I found a shiny one. No, that was like my first. Like, I, was, I think I caught. I know I didn't catch Bidoof. Mm-hmm. But um. Yeah, I definitely. I like it. it. It looks cool as a shiny too. It, yeah, like, I got it comes out like toy. gray, and it has like the blue hair or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, that was one of my main Pokemon on Platinum when I replayed it. Was I still got shiny it. Shiny Star Raptor. I, I moved it to my black and white game. Mm -hmm. That was one of them, and the oh. other one was a uh, shiny Macargo, which I found in like the... Lucky, really? Yeah, it was Slugma. like a... Yeah, it came out as a Macargo though, because it was oh, like nice. in the it was like in the post game area, like you go into that volcano or whatever. Yeah, and yeah. you fight that one legendary Pokemon, the Heatron. Or that yeah, he Heatron. Yeah, it was it was where that thing. Was. Oh fuck! Numbnut. <laughs> Forgot we named him Numbnut. <laughs> oh, he's going to have an Abra, right? A fat ass Abra. Abra yeah. looked like he's like super fat in this game. He's yeah. Like, oh, what the fuck did I eat? And oh. he's sitting down too. I know. Like, oh. Fucking Chipotle. <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna do shit too because it only he has Pidgeotto right now. Mm -hmm. Dick sucker. Is he gonna have a Rattata or a Rattata? Yeah, I think so. Let's go, Scott. Don't fail me. Aren't I don't know? God, I'm so bad with Pokemon types. I used to know them like off the top of my head, but in later games, are normal types weak to flying types? No, okay. weak. Um, normal type thing, weak to any. Oh, fighting. fighting. Only fighting. That's it. Yeah, it gets confusing. Because, uh, yeah, they're weak to fighting. And fighting's weak to flying, right? Yeah. 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 Maybe that fat ass Abra. I really want Parasect. I don't even know why. I know Parasect's not even good. But I'm like desperately trying to get Parasect. That's because I never trained it when I, when I was younger. <laughs> yeah, you get free experience with all of these. <laughs> yeah, that shit's not gonna do anything. It's a teleport, but it failed. <laughs> Max explaining looking motherfucker. Yep. What is Abra supposed to be? Like if Well, according to the card, Kadabra is supposed to be like a kid who turned into a Pokemon. Did you read that? No, you're fucking with me. Nah dude, look that shit up. <laughs> no fucking way. Kadabra was a kid who Transformed into a Pokemon. It's really creepy. Really, really creepy. <laughs> I don't want to like name drop other like YouTube people. And, uh, this one has to do with a uh, Danny Sex Bang. Okay. Because uh, I've told you before that uh, he doesn't know Pokemon because he's like as way after his time as a kid. So uh, there's this story with a uh, uh, Rubber Ross, one of the animators that's. On that, uh, on the Game Grumps channel, where he like once told a story about how, uh, cause Danny believes like everything he's told about like Pokemon, kinda, cause he doesn't know anything about it, and he's also he also he's just like really trustworthy. He believes what his friends tell him. Oh, like, okay. you know, why, why would they lie to him? So like Ross told this story that fucking killed me. Where like uh, I guess they were like all hanging out as friends once, and they were playing a uh, Smash Brothers, I think the Wii one. And uh, Lucario's in that game. Yeah. And so, like, Danny had never seen it before. He was like, what is, like, what what's Lucario? Like, he'd never seen one. So, like, uh, Ross told him this, like, real bullshit story. That, uh, that, uh, there was, like, a Make-A-Wish kid who's, like, dying wish to Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> was to be a mortal. He <laughs> 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 He's like, yeah, 
was a oh my kid. god, it's so <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> oh my god. And Dan's like, really? <laughs> He's like, no, dude, it's a Pokemon. He totally believed it. What the fuck? Oh you? god, that fucking killed me. Well, that's what Lucario gets for looking like a fucking furry. He was like, yeah, I want to be immortalized as a blue fox character. <laughs> and so they made his wish come true. And then Dan was like, did he live to see the p game come out? He was like, no, he died in the development scene. <laughs> <laughs>